It is currently, what time is it? 5.58. You should have to leave. And I worked today and I thought I'd bring you along on my work day. You guys seem to like have liked this video last time. So I thought I'd bring you along. I'm currently making myself some coffee to go in my little wine cup. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be a little different because we don't really have breakfast. So I'm gonna get some Dunkin' today. Here we go with the not being able to talk at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., whatever time it is. I'm gonna make some coffee to go. This is my creamer. <laughs> so yeah, guys, how have you been? I've been posting shorts. Do you guys like those? I don't know. Some people say they do, some people say they don't. That was really hot. It's brewing into a metal cup. It really makes your coffee hot. All right. Same thing as always, I'm gonna make my handy dandy jelly. Which I actually want to get another one because I love this thing with everything in me. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I'm heading out the door. Work outfit of the day, Mandela scrubs, Columbia jacket, hokas, and yeah. So I just ordered a Dunkin' breakfast. I got bagel minis. Why do I sing? I notice it every time I talk to the camera. I got bagel minis and I got hash browns for breakfast. Let me try to put you up there. For breakfast, yummy. I am so tired. Last night I got zero sleep. I just kept waking I just couldn't fall asleep. I literally could not fall asleep. So I am so tired. So I made myself a big coffee this morning and I am ready for the day. I think today's gonna be a good day. It's Friday payday um i'm in a good room today so it's gonna be a good day also please don't vlog while driving that's not a smart idea but yeah i'll probably talk to you guys after work to be honest because i can't vlog at work like i've said before i wish i could and show you a little bit about my day but it's okay i basically just my day starts i set up my room set up all my um tubing all my wiring all my stuff get everything ready for the day for the doctor see what we have going on for the day what we're starting with an egd or a colon set that up pull a scope use the scope that was clean the last and then uh, what else i do after that we just make sure my room is ready for the provider why y'all speeding? I'm going 50. I'm going like 55 around me. So yeah, that's what I do. And then when I'm done with my case, if we took any biopsies or anything, I'd make sure like I take them out, give them to the nurse, whatever. And then uh, after that, I take my scope into the scope room and clean it. And that's it. And then I'll start over for the next one. Just repeatedly throughout the day. As tedious as it sounds, it makes the day go by really fast. Especially like when you're working around with good people. So, yeah. I'll talk to you guys after work again. We have to do some homework today and some editing of a video. So, we have some stuff to do today. So, yeah. I'll talk to you guys after work. As you can see, it's currently 6 15. It's still dark out. So, I'm going in at 6 30. So, I'll see you guys probably around 3 30. Or 3. All right. Hi guys, 
so I'm back and I, it's 3.46. I just got home from work and I just wanted to update you guys on my day and tell you how it went and stuff like that. I just got Chick-fil-A for lunch, so I'm going to sit here and eat that. But I just want to tell you guys about my day because I'm, I am, I'm a little frustrated. Today was not an easy day. We had 12 cases to do. I think we had like eight colons and four EGDs or something like that. And it was just not an easy day or people weren't in the best mood. So people were just scratching. I don't get why because it's literally Friday. So whatever. We're just not in a good mood. But I feel like everything that went wrong, I feel like Mercury's in retrograde. Because literally everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Like literally. Like I kept dropping random stuff. Like it just wasn't a good day at work. I'm not even going to lie. It was just very overwhelming and I just wanted to go home and then I went to Chick-fil-A to go trip myself to some Chick-fil-A and have a good afternoon when I came home and just chill and just be okay and then there's this guy in the drive through honking the whole time through the drive through trying to get like the employees to rush or whatever but then I guess he falls behind me like trying to leave Chick-fil-A and so it's for, so you can get my POV I'm like in the plaza there's four lanes in front of me and I have to wait till the coast is clear to turn right to then do a u-turn to go into the other side and the car behind me, which is a truck, a guy in a truck, he's just honking. I mean, I'm like, okay, well, first of all, red flag, like, I'm not going to, like, listen to you. Whatever. I'm waiting for the coast is clear. Like, you don't know what my next move is. Like, you want me to throw myself in front of these cars? Like, no, don't honk at me. Like, just be nice to the person in front of you. You don't understand what they're doing. So this man, grown-ass man, decides to get on the curb behind me, nearly hits my car, gets super close to my mirror. And pulls his window down and starts yelling at, yelling at me, like full-blown yelling at me. I just left my window up because my mom taught me one thing was like, do not mess with mad drivers in the road because like all they're there is just to ruin your day. And I just didn't want to further ruin my day, but I'm glad he didn't hit my car. But it was just like seriously, like on top of everything. And then Chick-fil-A took like an eternity to get my food ready. And it was just, it wasn't their fault. They don't know that I'm having such a rough day. But, yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry to be negative, Nancy. But this is the reality of my day. The weird thing is, I got off of work at 3. And I just got home. Isn't that crazy? But, yeah. Today was just overwhelming. So, what we're going to do now... We're going to shower, we're going to take a nap, because I didn't get any good sleep last night, so I'm going to shower, I'm going to take a nap, and then I'm going to regather myself, and then get myself ready for the weekend, because good vibes, right? <laughs> so, yeah, that's how my day was today, guys. How fun, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. <laughs> Oh, and as I'm sitting here eating, I just remembered. You know what else happened at work today? The clock on the wall fell and shattered all over my ankles. So that can tell you how literally nothing went right today. Glad the day is over. Glad the work day is over, so... Like it's better <laughs> i hope so so i just got out of the shower and now i'm gonna take a very much needed nap i'm wearing sweats and a little sports bra and i'm going to take a nap and just a restart this day because it's much needed okay awesome but yeah this is a very realistic day in Stephanie's little life. <laughs> so, hope you guys are enjoying this raw content of me raw dogging life. Is there even a lot to be said on the internet? <laughs> but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, my people. I love you.
Oh, it's a terrible lighting. So it is six in the afternoon and it's basically nighttime here in Florida. I tried to take a little nap, but my upstairs neighbors, if you want to hear, of course I'll be quiet. I'm trying to talk about them. Decided to walk a marathon in their apartment and their, their floors creak a lot, so it makes a lot of noise for us. But I got a notification that something got delivered at my door, so. I'm kind of excited to see what that's all about <laughs> and talk to you guys. I feel a little bit better, but I still didn't really get rest. My dad called me in the middle of my nap. Um, someone rang the doorbell. You know, stuff always happens when you're trying to nap, but it's okay. I feel a little bit better compared to how overwhelmed I was feeling earlier. So, yeah, and see what's at the door. <laughs> so, I know what was at the door now. And it's actually a super exciting package. I just really hope that what came in here isn't broken. Ah! Also, guys, she's cold because it's cold outside moment of truth hopefully she's not broken oh <gasps> she's not broken but look also okay guys she is beautiful oh my god no it's the new hourglass palette oh my god she is so cute there you go I look like crazy, but oh, look how pretty she is, guys. I was so scared that she was going to come broken. She is so pretty. I cannot wait to try her out. She's so pretty. So, I wanted to film a proper outro for this video and say thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys watching all my videos and support and for subscribing and stuff like that. So, I appreciate it more than you know. Okay, guys? This has always been a dream of mine, so thank you guys so, so much for subscribing and watching. But yeah, subscribe for more videos. Love you. Bye.